Hello you guys, it's Elsie. Welcome back to my channel. I actually just changed the background as well. I put all my body sprays in here and they actually fit all of them in here. I've been decluttering things so I don't even think I have that many anymore because I still have so many but not as many as I thought I had. So I could probably be in another video doing a whole decluttered body sprays video as well. Anyways, today we're here to talk about the new collection that they have at Bath & Body Works. Most of the sprays I already have in my collection. Just start with the video already, but first subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment down below, follow me on Instagram, and let's start with the video already. We're gonna start with the only one. That I literally just bought. All of them, I just already have them, except for one that I'm gonna talk about in a little bit. But this is Poolside Cabana, and this is how it looks like. And I really like the packaging, like it has like the straw inside it and everything. So this one has crisp pear, warm breeze, and cellar sandalwood. So this one, um, I know a lot of people were comparing this one to Ice Pear Margarita. Is that the name? Yeah, I think that's the name. I actually just decluttered that one and I don't think they're similar. Like maybe the, the same pear from both of them. Like maybe we're getting pear in like both fragrance mist, but I really don't think they're similar or anything. Not dupes whatsoever. Like I actually like this one a lot more than Ice Pear Margarita. This one to me has a lot more warmth to it, like more beachy, creamy, um, sweets. The other one, it is sweet, but it's more of this like drink sweet, like more, a little bit more tart in a way, like a little bit more bright and fruity. I mean, this is fruity, but it's more creamy. And the other one reminds me definitely of a pear slushy from sonic or something like that like it's more refreshing in a way like more it reminds you more of an actual pear slushy drink and it's very refreshing but in my opinion it's not my type of scent um i even smell a little bit of lime in there but definitely the cellar sandalwood gives a lot more of this like creaminess to it the warm breeze gives it like a lot more warmth like it reminds you of being by the pool just more sweet and creamy not so much in the gourmand side but definitely very very sweet and creamy almost like a pear almost like a pear ice cream in a way it's definitely a good one it was probably the best out of the whole collection because there's also a sparkling orange spritz and the one in the orange packaging and that one right off the bat i already knew i wasn't gonna like her like at all and it has notes of sun-kissed mandarin lovely prosecco and citrus soda that one straight up smells like a soda a fanta soda like an orange soda and it has no warmth to it whatsoever it just smells like the carbonated soda and I don't think I want to smell like that. I don't know. I just, I haven't really seen anybody really loving that scent. Um, I don't think I want to smell like that. It's not my taste. It's not my vibe. I even decluttered strawberry soda from years ago. I don't like the smell of carbonated soda too much. Like, I feel like it has almost like an artificial feeling to it that I don't like, like to wear. Like, it might be fun but I don't think it's something I will gravitate towards to as much. Um, I will gravitate more to a some, towards something like this, more sweet, more creamy, more, I don't know, more sweet, I don't know. That one doesn't have really a lot of sweetness to it. It's more like bright and fruity carbonated soda. Not my life. So that's in collection. They have Sunset Glow. I already have it. I actually have this one in a backup because I love it so much. In my opinion, this packaging it's a lot cuter than the one they have right now. I don't care about the freaking straw in the middle. To me, this is a lot, a lot cuter, like the colors and everything. But it has fresh coconut, sparkling cherry seltzer, dreamy moonflower, and caramelized vanilla. This smells so good to me. It's one of my faves. Like it smells a little bit similar to Rio Ceiling Crush or Rosa. What number is it? 63? Is that the number? I don't even know, but you already know what I'm talking about. That one smells more like pistachio ice cream. This one has like 
the hint of cherry to it but the caramel in here it is very very strong also the coconut like coconut and caramel they're amazing here yeah, to me it's like very similar to that one. It smells almost like a caramel ice cream with like the cherry on top. Like I feel like it just reminds me of that. And it is so sweet, so gourmand. Like almost like that type of sweetness and gourmand that you will have like still during the summer. Obsessed, it reminds me of going to the fair, going to Disney, to the parks, to the boardwalk the treats all like the ice cream the caramel funnel cake that's pretty much it for that specific collection they have a new love always wins and i personally didn't grab that one because it didn't really wow me in order for me to buy it and that one has golden star fruit fresh coconut water and cedar wood heart in my opinion i prefer this one this one i loved from last year so this is how it looks like i wanted to see the difference between this one and that one this one has sunny sangria bright melon and misty waters they're very similar in my opinion like I even thought for a moment I was smelling the one from last year. I even thought it was going to be like your package or something. But I think this one, I like it a lot better than the one that they have right now. This one has more of that mixture of melon with sangria. And even though it's a little bit tart and sour like a drink, almost reminds me of a sangria like alcoholic drink or something. They're both like a little bit like unisex. And I feel like the one they have right now has more of this like coconutty aquatic hint to it than this one. It smells good, but probably if I didn't have this one, I might have grabbed the one they have right now. But honestly, it is like enough for me. I need to run into my products. It smells aquatic. It smells like has like a little bit of coconutty um, hint to it. Um, kind of beachy unisex, but this one to me it was so so good from last year. This one it's aquatic because of the misty waters as well, but it has more of this like mixture of melon and sangria, more fruity. That's what I'm trying to say. This is a lot more sweet fruity than the one that I have right now. It's like the, the main difference must be like the coconut hint that it has. So they also have firecracker pop, which is not new. So they're packaged and I only have this one. I think it's the first one that they came out and i haven't really used this one up at all this one has red cherry fresh citrus and juicy berry i'm not gonna grab the one from this year at all because this one i can really use her up like it's literally up to here it's, i haven't i really haven't i think this is one that i only use like on 4th of july because i don't know it just reminds me of um those popsicles i always forget the freaking name but literally those popsicles the berry popsicles that they have at walmart or target um mainly around 4th of july it just reminds me of that like a berry slushy from sonic as well i definitely get the mixture of cherry with berries and then the hint of citrus vibe that it has as well it's very citrusy it's not my favorite like smells good especially for it's like a fun fruity sweet a little bit like sour slushy type of vibe for especially for 4th of july for the entire summer it's a good one but it's not my favorite like it's not one that i'm obsessed about so maybe i'll use this one up this specific summer and i'm good i don't think i will purchase her but yeah it's not my favorite i know a lot of people love this one so that's one that they have right now this is a package at the beach and i wanted to quickly talk about her this is my favorite packaging in my opinion the one that they have right now it's very pretty but this one it's absolutely stunning with all the glitter going on and this one has white frangipani blossoms toasted coconut bergamot water sea salt breeze and sun-kissed musk this one i have two of these actually um one of these the old packaging i'm gonna give to my mom because i know she likes this type of scents um this one's literally it feels like you're at the beach but i'm not gonna lie sometimes i have like a love-hate relationship with this one because it kind of reminds me how my bathroom smells and it smells good but it's not something like it just makes me think of my of a clean bathroom you know you can literally taste the sea salt it's breezy it's musky it's airy it's literally at the beach and i really really like her but sometimes i'm telling you like sometimes it reminds me oh yeah it smells like the beach and sometimes it reminds me of a clean 
bathroom. I feel like this one would be a really nice one to take to the gym and you smell really, really clean. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna purchase a new one because it's not, like I said, I have a love-hate relationship with this one, but I may wear this one out to the gym because I really, really like the smell very, very fresh and clean. So that's pretty much it for this little discussion about the new ones that they have at Bath & Body Works right now. So if I'm posting this on Monday, that means Saturday it's SAS, which I kind of been seeing like sneak peeks here and there, mostly from Leah Jane. That's where I usually see everything. But yeah, that was pretty much it. I'm very excited for SAS and I don't think I'm gonna purchase a whole lot because I have so many. As you can see, I put all my body sprays right here. So I don't really need a lot, but let's see. Let's see what we can find. That's pretty much it. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, to like this video, to comment down below, to follow me on my new Instagram. We can talk there. I'm going on a trip, so I'm gonna be posting everything there so definitely make sure to follow me it's a new instagram i just changed like the why it's now i think it's double y now so make sure to follow me and i really hope to see you in my next video bye